guys, this week on the uh, trip vlog, we are at Epcot, and we just got here. And look, the Muppet Labs is going on, so let's watch the Muppet Labs, let's go check out some stuff out. I'm also shooting the When Can We Do This Again for uh, Flower and Garden today, so we're shooting that, and we're just going to check out Epcot today and hang out, have some fun. Hello, Sound good? Monkeys of fun with science! Yeah. Yes, as you well know, I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and this is my longtime loyal assistant, Beaker! And also with us are our intrepid interns. Let's have a hand for Newton and Einstein. Go first off to Merry Old London, England. Yes, and it can't be London without fog. Fog so thick, you won't even know you're not really in England at all. Next comes Africa. Yes, Africa! To see the most famous waterfall in the world, Victoria Falls! <laughs> and finally, I'd like to hear Beaker say what's in his heart. I think Beaker needs a little more encouragement, so let's chant his name. Beaker, Beaker, Beaker! you so articulate. Everyone wasn't that fantastic. Who here was moved by Beaker's speech? Raise your hand way up if you were particularly moved by what you just heard. Uh, Newton, go ahead and find someone who's got their hand up in the air very high. Hey. Wait a second. Are you sure you want to stay? <gasps> really? You mean it? Oh, Beaker, that's wonderful. I knew you'd never leave me. Well, uh, Michael, thank you so much for your help today. I'm sure you'll be someone's great lab assistant in the future. Let's give Michael a round of applause. And an That's what you call good timing as we walk into uh, Epcot and run straight into the Muppets Lab. Uh, I know it's been back for a while, but it's the first time I've got to see it. Fun, enjoyable, nice little treat uh, to start the day here at Epcot as we're doing uh, flower and garden. Uh, I'm gonna run over here and shoot some stuff for for when can we do this again guys and uh, let's go into mouse gear and see the the merch basically uh, that's where I'm headed so we walk into the mouse gear and here's all of the all of the merch all of the merch for flower garden and a hat that I think I'm gonna buy I think I'm gonna buy. If you want to see all the merch in in detail, go check out. Go check out. So when can we do this again for this week, guys? It is all about the flower and garden and the merch of flower and garden. You get this hat, guys. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the hat. If the hat looks uh, looks good. That didn't really work. But I don't know. Is it me? Is it me? Do you think so? Is it me? Well, let me go look in the mirror and see if it's me. And then I might get it. If I get it, it'll be on the rest of the day and you'll know that I got it. Hat purchase, guys. We are walking out. Yeah, it's not too close. Walking out. Wow, as you can tell, it is sunny, sunny, sunny. It's in the 80s already here in Florida. Happy March, y'all. And it is humid and hot and sweaty and all that fun stuff that comes along with, with Florida for, oh, I don't know, 10 months of the year. Before we head over to World Showcase, let's go into Club Cool and grab a beverage. Okay, we're headed to the right, guys, as there's more festival stuff all around. As you look over here is, if you want to do your own topiaries, your own garden stuff, it's all over here at this booth. Festival jewelry and still some more of the merch. I don't see anything that I haven't seen in there currently. The Northern Bloom there was a little bit different than last year's area. I still decided there wasn't really anything I wanted to try at, at that time, even though there is a, this maple, 
popcorn shake there that looks like it could be delish, but it's 11.75, so I decided to pass as I haven't eaten anything today and I would not, I don't want to get all just ridiculously jacked up on sugar. Our first stop of the day this is the Cider House. And we're gonna get a, a cider, thank you. So we are trying the strawberry, strawberry cider. Yes, get it. It's good. It's a small glass, but 450. Of course, that's what you can kind of expect at Flower and Garden. Interesting. Usually they have Hook and and TikTok there. They only have Pan and Tink this year, so that's interesting. Not as much in the uh, British Pavilion as there normally is, as it goes for temporaries. It's been quite the enjoyable day. I've just been chilling. I shot a time lapse. I've done some other stuff. Just chilling. Haven't eaten anything yet at Food and Garden. Or Food and Food and Garden. <laughs> I, I, sometimes I want to call it Food and Wine. It's Flower and Garden. That's what it is. It's Flower and Garden. Uh, like I said, I, I, I mix the two names up constantly. So uh, yeah, just uh, just hanging out. Look at this. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day here. One drink and nothing to eat yet. I just passed Morocco, which I almost debated having the spicy hot dog there. Um, I'm here in front of Japan right now. They have the Froshi, which was recommended, not recommended. Like, it depends on who you talk to. Some people recommended it, some people didn't. Just got done doing the Froshi, the Froshi tomato, tomato at Japan. Liked it, liked it, liked it. I keep on making my way through here, and maybe I'll actually get something real to eat here soon. Seen the American Pavilion, known for barbecue, and uh, I've had the burnt ends hash there two years in a row. The first year I actually liked it. Last year I wasn't a fan. If you want barbecue, it's there. I'm not gonna promise that it's gonna be good, bad, or indifferent. It's gonna be barbecue at the American Pavilion. As we make our way around World Showcase, we are in Italy, and the mime is going. Let's just hang out and chill and enjoy the mime for a little bit here, guys. so far hanging out watching watching the mime do some juggling tricks play have fun with kids all that stuff shooting when can we do this again thinking about having this uh this meatball parmigiana over here in italy um i don't know i kind of want to see what it looks like before i before i decide to commit to a seven dollars for the meatball let's let's see if i can see what it looks like beforehand I saw this probably the last time I was at Epcot, and guess what? Doing it again. It's like really refreshing, really good. 
you might want to like grapefruit. If you hate grapefruit, you're not going to like this. But if you like grapefruit, this is so good. So, so good. As I just enjoy my day sitting around here shooting, when can we do this again? And checking out the, the flower and garden. We are going to check out the acrobats here momentarily, guys. The acrobats over here in China will be right there and just like. Behind me there is the China Pavilion, guys. Looks like they have those candy strawberries back, and I, I can't remember if they had those for Flower and Garden or Food and Wine, but I know we had them last year, and I liked them. Uh, I'm not sure everybody likes them, but their candy strawberries are look really cool. Like I said, check out the video from last year on a lot of the stuff. I didn't want to come out here last year. I think I spent 100, 120 dollars eating around the world, and wasn't really in the mood to do that again. Today. Plus, I don't think I could have done it by myself this time, as that's as I'm all by myself, and uh, would have had to pretty much stuff myself to get around the world and uh, and try all the foods here at Flower and Garden. There's Jordan Fiestas, and it looks like they have a new menu this year, which is good because last year's menu, everything seemed very, very small, muy small, muy picante. I think that's how it's said. Uh, I'm probably wrong. And then, as you see behind me, also Mexico has La Isla de Fresca, La Isla Fresca, La Isla Fresca. I, I, help me, help me, down below, like give me a pronunciation. But so they have two things over here. But that is for the Garden Festival. This is year-round, as I am now looking at it more so. That's why it's always here, but it looks like their menu is better. Guys, that is it for the trip vlog over here. My first time at, yes, right there, at Flower and Garden 2017 this year. My first time over here shooting the wind again. We do this again, having fun, eating some food, enjoyed everything that I ate. Uh, if I haven't put it in this video, it's in the wind can we do this again that was published like a couple days ago. Check that out. I am out of here, guys. Look at the sunset that's behind me. If we can get to a spot that like really amplifies it. Like, let's, let's come over here. <laughs> Let's come over here. Look at that sunset, guys. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing. I've got a few photos I'll plug in at the end of this episode that you can look at and take a check. Take a check. Ch check out <laughs> that I just shot of the monorail coming through with the sunset, guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip, this video. And I uh, hope you enjoyed coming along with me to Flower and Garden 2017. Check me out on Magical World of M. All forms of social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Magical World of M, guys. I will see you next time, guys. I hope you had a great time here with me. Hope you had a magical time, really. A magical time! I had a, I had a great time, guys, and I am out of here. Until next, next week, guys, have a magical week and stay magical. Bye-bye.